We've all been in a situation where we looked at someone and immediately knew they weren't feeling well. We don't have to take their temperature or even ask them how they're feeling. We simply know they're sick based on their behavior. When it comes to dairy cows, having the ability to look at their behavior to tell when they're sick is very beneficial since they can't tell us how they're feeling. After all, dairy producers' number one priority is keeping their animals healthy in order to efficiently provide high quality milk. The most common illness that plagues dairy cows is mastitis, which is inflammation of the mammary glands commonly caused by an infection. There are several ways to handle a case of mastitis, with treatment ranging from simply holding a cow's milk to culling her from the herd. Whatever the case may be, the more efficient the mastitis detection is, the better. Farmers currently detect mastitis by checking for swelling of the mammary glands, evaluating the somatic cell count, and looking for any abnormalities in the consistency of the milk. While these physical symptoms do accurately diagnose mastitis, they usually don't appear until after the cow is already very sick. So it's easy to see why more and more farmers are implementing technology that monitors behaviors like resting behavior in order to catch illnesses more efficiently. An example of this technology is on the slide behind me. That blue collar around the cow's neck acts like a Fitbit that alerts the farmer when she's sick based on her activity level. This technology is based off of previous research that has made connections between changes in behavior and different types of sicknesses. However, there's room for improvement because there's limited information available about Streptococcus uberus, which is the most common pathogen that causes mastitis. In my study, we exposed a group of 23 cows to Strep uberus within two days after calving and attached an activity monitor to their legs. This allowed us to track the clinical subclinical and behavioral responses to mastitis from the very start so that we could get a detailed look between this re these relationships. We found that cows took less steps during the day, laid less at night, and in shorter bouts whenever they were showing very severe signs of mastitis, indicating discomfort. Even when cows were showing minimal udder inflammation and milk abnormalities, their steps decreased significantly. Although we need to determine if these diurnal patterns are consistent throughout lactation and infecting pathogen, it's research such as this that allows us to make improvements to this on-farm technology. These modifications allow for this continuous and easy method of mastitis detection to become more accurate and reliable, thereby improving farm efficiency and cow welfare. After all, what's good for the cow is good for the farmer. Thank you.